रोना आ रहा है मुझे आई हैव मूव फाइव अपार्टमेंट्स इन फोर इयर्स दिस गाय वॉक्स अप टू मी ही लुक्स एट मी फॉर अबाउट थ्री सेकेंड एंड देन इज आई एम नॉट वेर आई एम सपोज टू बी आई रीड ऑल योर कॉमेंट्स एंड आई टेक सजेशन एंड फीडबैक वेरी सीरियसली क्या बोल रहे ली पब्लिक चाय वाय लेके आए लेकिन नहीं तुम लोग मैं तो लेके आई हूं Ever since I started to make videos from the beginning of this year I have been speaking on very specific topics but I feel like I haven't given you an update about my life. You guys see me on camera but I don't think you know what's exactly happening in my life so I thought I can do like a nice chill laid back update video. I have to say in the past few weeks I have gained so many new followers and so many new people who have been added to the Moses and Israel family. I'm so excited to have you guys. You guys are going to have a great time. I have some really cool videos planned ahead. It's just about execution. I don't know how I'm going to go about it, but uh, I have some really cool topics that I want to speak about and I'm so happy you guys have subscribed to this channel. Welcome. I want to begin this video by saying that today is Yom HaShoah, which is the Holocaust Remembrance Day. So today at 10 a.m., which is in a couple of minutes, a siren is going to go off in Israel, like completely throughout the country. And Israelis are expected to keep a two-minute silence of a reflection. This is a reminder of the Holocaust that happened a couple of years ago. The systematic—I don't want to use the word—but wiping out of Jews. They say six million, but it, we all know it's more than six million Jews. It's 9:59 right now, and the siren might go off any minute. I can tell, like everything is quiet right now because you don't drive, you don't do nothing during these two minutes. You have to just be quiet. right moving on i have been looking for a new apartment and renting in tel aviv is ridiculous it is basically something like this are teri bhai ye room to shuru hote hi khatam ho gaya yaar it's true paying so much money for such a small space is just bah, like i don't know how to explain this i know all major cities have this challenge like the space is a small but you need a big budget what to do when you don't have a big budget or you have a medium budget how do you go about this so looking for an apartment in tel aviv is very competitive and you have to be mentally prepared for anything to happen at any point in time so yesterday i started to look at apartments in fact yesterday was the first day when i actually started to go look at apartments cuz It took a serious and I decided that I wanted to move out. I'm living with my parents currently but I really need my own space. Not that I'm saying that oh I don't like living with my parents but this is something that has been on my list. I want to have my own space. I want to see if I can live on my own. And especially when you come from India, we don't have the culture of like moving out. Although I did a couple of times but like now I am in another country and the dynamics is different i want to have my own space and see if i can live you know pay my own bills clean the house manage household chores with my full time job and youtube and you know all of that i had made up my mind that i wanted to move out but i just wasn't acting on it like i knew 2 months ago that i will be moving out and i thought probably i sh i will move out by the end of this year but i feel ready to move out so now like last uh, i think last week i just started to look on facebook and like these other apps where you can find these apartments yesterday was the first day when i started to look for apartments i went to three apartments and it was just <laughs> terrible rona aa raha hai mujhe so the first apartment that i visited was like 20 meters i don't know how to explain 20 meters but is it probably is as big as this room where i am right now and i'm looking for a studio apartment so studio apartment is like there's like a small kitchenette and then the bed is there and the sofa is also there everything is there there's no like alag alag jagah nahi hai is studio apartment like comprises of everything and then there's like a small toilet bathroom on the side this 20 meter studio apartment was 3200 shekels and i'm like what are you saying and there's no space to walk you know what because it was like limited furniture but there was still no space to walk like i could just hardly like 
I don't know what to say. And these prices like just don't make sense. And there are people who rent these kind of apartments. The second apartment I went to, it was at an amazing location, which is near Shuka Carmel, by the way. It's like one of the prime locations. So obviously, the more you move to the to a prime location, the more budget you need. Somehow, this the guy who was showing me the apartment said it is in a prime location, but the price isn't so good. And I was like, you know what? It's it's too good to be true, but let's go see it. You just never know, you know, because the universe has its ways of rewarding you. So I was like, you know what? Let's go see it. I went to the second apartment. I mean, the location was great. I love that area, but it was so shitty. It was unclean. Everything was like old. Oh, there are a lot of old apartments. I don't mind living in an old apartment, an old building, but it should be like... <laughs> I don't have, I don't even have words. I don't even have to say it. You, you guys understand what I'm saying. If you're trying to sell an apartment, at least keep it clean and keep everything like in its own place and make sure like everything is in order. Nothing of that sort was in that apartment. And it looked better in pictures than in reality. And you know, the problem with apartments in Tel Aviv is like when people click pictures, they have iPhones, yeah? So they use the 0.5 camera zooming. So it's like a wide angle. So when you look at them, they're like, oh, they're big. But when you actually go and visit them, they're like tiny. Like, why is this on the list? Why is this on Facebook? Why are people showing this apartment? Doesn't make sense. And the third one that I went to, it was a big apartment, but it was a very shitty area. And when I say a shitty area, it means like not so safe and people don't recommend going there. And I was like, you know what? Maybe people are wrong. I should just go. Like, see, listen, I like to believe when I actually see it with my own eyes. And that happened yesterday. It was like a great, it was, in fact, it was a new building for a decent price with a bomb shelter, like within the building. For those of you who don't know, a lot of the buildings which are older, they don't have a bomb shelter inside the building or inside the apartment. They have community bomb shelters and you have to run every time like 200, 300 meters away from your building. I was like, you know what, now that I'm moving, I should probably look for an apartment that has a mamad or a bomb shelter inside the apartment or in the same building so that I don't have to run. So considering all of these things, but then I realized the area was like so unsafe and I, I don't want to because I sometimes I work late nights outside. So when I when I come back home or when I leave early in the morning, I want to feel safe. Yeah, I saw three apartments and they they had their own challenges. But uh, I'm hoping my apartment hunting goes well. I need your blessings. Please give me your blessings. But uh, I'm hoping to find an apartment soon. But yeah, it's just like, I don't know when. I have moved five apartments in four years. It is very stressful. When I started to look for apartments, I was pretty confident, you know, but I have experienced like five apartments in four years is like a good rate. I should have learned so many things. But when I started looking for apartments yesterday, I realized that every time you look for an apartment, there's a new challenge that comes up and you just like don't know how to deal with it until you deal with it. I got back to my dance training three months ago. So for those of you who don't know, I have been dancing for a while and when i say for a while is which basically means all my life i got back to dance training three months ago i started training in high heels which is a combination of jazz and ballet which are not my styles but i have to say i'm having a great time i'll tell you why i think because of two reasons i think your teacher has to be really good and the people that you dance with need to be really supportive people that look up to you and help you grow so these are two things that I look for when I join a dance class and that's exactly where I've landed and high heels is not my style. My styles are like basically like hip hop, Bollywood, folk. I'm also a trained classical Bharatanatyam dancer. So I've always been in those styles. So at the beginning of this year, I said that I wanted to tap it into my feminine energy because I've always been a little bit masculine. Like in terms of like energy, when I say that is more like like going for it, conquering, hustling, that, that was more like my energy. And I said, you know what, I want to tap into my core energy, which is the feminine energy, because I've struggled with being feminine a lot in my life. So I said, you know what, one thing I can do is like to activate it and to like kind of like nurture it is to do a creative activity and what could be the best thing ever. 
dance. One of the many styles is high heels. And I started training like three months ago. My first class was amazing, but I struggled a lot because I knew nothing about high heels. Uh, but now that I've been training for three months, it's been amazing. There's so much more to learn. But when I look at myself dancing, it's such an amazing feeling. I never thought I could dance in heels. I mean, I don't even walk in heels. I don't, I didn't own any heels before this dance class, I have to say. I'm a converse kind of girl. I like shoes. I like flats. So heels is completely out of my comfort zone. But I have been doing that and uh, I'm very proud of myself. I don't post anything on YouTube because uh, copyright issues and we dance on tracks that have copyright issues. But I post a lot of stuff on my Instagram stories and sometimes even like posts. So if you want to follow what I do, go right now to my Instagram and you will be updated with all my dance trainings and sessions and shoots and the balagan that I do. Health wise, I feel like I'm doing well, but I also feel like I'm not where I'm supposed to be because I'm doing so many things. I feel like I skip, I overeat or I undereat. I don't have a specific schedule. I love, I thrive off schedules. But I feel like because I'm doing so many things, I'm not being able to follow. But I train twice a week. My dance trainings are twice a week and I also go for functional training so that I make sure my physical health is in place. You know, health is not just about physical health. It's also like mental and emotional and spiritual. Very recently, I mean, I was doing it like back in the day when I moved to Israel because I was going through a lot of stuff back then emotionally so I started to meditate but then because I got so busy I just stopped doing it and now I realize that I probably need to do it because all good things are coming at the same time and I feel like I need to prioritize but it's, it's kind of like overwhelming so I took this as a sign and I told myself you know what I should probably get back to meditating because that's going to help me focus and help me get through my day. And in terms of like spiritual practices, I'm kind of exploring my religious spirituality. I was never like religiously spiritual. I was, all, was always like spiritual, but in a universe kind of way. You, you know what they say, when you surround yourself with people that believe in a certain thing, you, it kind of like affects you in a good way. And a lot of my friends, I won't say religious, but they believe and they have some like certain Jewish practices that I've really liked like over the past few months and I'm trying to like explore what it means to me so we'll see where that goes but I've also started to like journal I write everything I write my visualizations I write my feelings because I feel like a lot more times I am not being able to speak about it but I feel it but you have to get it out you have to feel it and like kind of like release it so my releasing is either through movement so that's dancing or working out or writing in terms of food sugar gluten and dairy intake has reduced not that i'm saying like oh i'm on a diet i'm not on a diet i love to eat i don't do ketos i don't do all the fat diets that's been going viral i've been trying to eat as per my body requirements and I think it's been helping and I realized like when I moved to Israel the dairy here is a lot more processed so I started to get breakouts I was bloated I wasn't feeling so good so I cut down on dairy and I started like soya because I still need my chai right and chai is nothing without milk so I replaced it with soy milk instead of regular milk and it's an acquired taste like starting May when I used to have it I'm like yeah pani jaisa kyu hai but then I got used to it and like now it's like my favorite. It's kind of funny, but I, I really want to share with you guys. Like I love parties, not like partying hardcore, like Raat Ke Teen Baje, but I like to go for good get togethers and chill with friends and like have a conversation like outside. Like that, it really makes me happy. But in the last few weeks, I've just not been feeling like chilling outside and having wine and having alcohol. And if you know, like, Jewish parties, not just Jewish parties, but if you go to like get togethers in Israel, you will have alcohol, you will have wine, you'll have beer, you'll have all sorts of alcohol. And I have not been feeling like having alcohol at all. I think it's, it's like when you shift, when you do all of these practices, there's a shift that happens in your life. And I think this is one major shift in my life. I haven't been resonating with the life I used to have before kind of like going on to a, a calmer, more focused way, which is good. I feel good about it. Not that I'm saying like that's bad. It's just not for me right now. I've kind of switched. Oh, and I've also learned to say no. I was a people pleaser and I would just like say yes to everything because I didn't want to upset anybody. But I'm learning how to draw 
boundaries for myself and that means you have to say a lot of no's to a lot of people in a good way and make them understand like listen like this is something that I cannot do or it's not in my capacity so I can't do it but I really appreciate you asking me that's what I've been doing you know because I'm doing like so many things I need to prioritize and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and I want them to understand like this is what I'm going through in the next four months I'm going to turn 30 you know what that means nothing's going to change I mean that's what everybody keeps saying although I am wondering if it is true I feel like it's so not true I mean things do change things have already started to change for me and when I say like have started to change for me it doesn't mean in terms of like how people look at you I think we are at a stage where we don't care what people think of us anymore but I think like physically I feel it in my body that I have reached my 30s because I feel tired very quickly I want to sleep a lot more and women's bodies are much more different than a man's body and I can feel it like in my body like my my hair my hair texture feels different my skin texture feels different I break out sometimes like a 16 year old and I don't know what to do all the lady challenges have started to like kick in and I don't even know like what to do about it and the funny thing is now is the time when I have to hustle because there are so many good things that are happening in my life but my body is asking me to calm down you see the conflict like this is tough I'm really trying to take this one day at a time but you know how people say like oh 30s is the new 20s I mean yeah because you're like in the best shape at least for me I feel like I'm in my best shape in all aspects and now because I've been earning money for for a few years I feel like I have some savings and I can have fun but yeah but it's, it's still scary you know because you know the 30s for our parents was different and 30s for us is so different I'm happy but I'm also like nervous and excited at the same time but I think it's gonna be great okay let's talk about this channel for a second this channel is growing every minute and every second of the day you won't believe what happened so that day I was at Tel Aviv University with one of my friends and we were at a grocery store because we wanted to buy something this guy walks up to me he looks at me for about three seconds and then he says your Moses in Israel and I was like oh my god it has started to happen like people have started to notice and a lot more people are watching it because this wasn't even a Desi person this was like an American guy who watched my video and I was like whoa like this is getting real a lot more community members and when I say community it means the Indian Jewish community members have started to reach out initially like nobody gave a damn about it they're like we used to share videos and nobody even like reshared it but now I don't even have to ask people they're, they're seeing that the channel is growing and they see all the comments and they see all your support so all of a sudden now everybody has started to like get in touch with me they want to help they want to collab and I'm like this is like a dream come true and we are just getting started I have so many things planned I feel like you know they, they have a vision but then there are some things that come to me in the middle I like out of nowhere and I'm like can I also include this as a part of Moses in Israel so I have my things and then I have things that spontaneously come to me and I feel like I'm building something I do have a clear vision of like where I want to take it but sometimes I feel like am I the right path but then I realize you know what let's just do it we'll try if it works great even if it doesn't it's a good learning my goal right now is to build a community and when I say community that does not include just the Indian Jews it means anybody and everybody who is fond of what I am creating at the moment and right now my focus is India Israel and anything to do with these two countries but mostly culture so if you like my content please share it with your friends and family members because this community will only grow when we have a lot more people who support and talk about it and spread more awareness I feel like we don't have awareness about cultures because Israel loves India India loves Israel but both these countries don't know a lot more things than I thought they might not know and there's so much gap to fill and I want to share it with you guys because I have the best of both I'm an Indian Jew and now because I live in Israel so I'm like an Indian Israeli so I feel like I'm in the middle and I can bridge that gap but it won't be possible without your support if you haven't subscribed to this channel and if you're watching this video go subscribe now I'd really appreciate it number two if you have subscribed share this video or share my other videos the most or your favorite videos with your friends and ask them 
to share it with their friends because that's how we're going to grow awareness and get more people on board i think other than that i'm having a great time i think i'm in a very good mental space where i'm able to do so many things and i'm slowly getting opportunities a lot more people are seeing what i'm doing they're able to see my vision when i started this channel people were like bro what are you doing i mean who's going to follow this content but a lot more people are liking this so now i want to be able to i want to scale up on this and see where i can take us together and we'll be in touch i have a lot more fun ideas although if you have more ideas go down the comment section let me know i read all your comments and i take suggestions and feedback very seriously if you don't know the past few videos that i've made are all based on subscriber recommendations I'm not kidding. Your comments are helping my channel grow and I want to, and I want to consider that. So please go ahead put it in the comment section and I will see you next time.